Good day and welcome to the news. Peter Obi is being set up. Aisha Yusufu raises alarm. Now, the news in details. Aisha Yesufu, the co-convener of advocacy group Bring Back Our Girls, has raised alarm saying those who attacked ANSYS protesters are planning to set up the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. Yesufu alleged that the same tactics used against the ANSYS protesters would be used against Peter Obi. She made this remark while responding to a Twitter user who frowned at Obi for apologizing over the attitude of his followers. The activist said, Some people are planning to use the same thugs that were used to attack NSAS protesters on Obi. The Twitter user, at General underscore Oluchi, wrote, It bothers me when Peter Obi apologizes. What is he apologizing for? Did he force any of us to support him? Or does he think people won't vote him because his supporters are tackling idiots online? Aggression is the only language these people understand, so no need apologizing. Reacting, Yesufu said, The plan is to turn people against Obi ahead of the 2023 presidential election. She added that the same tactics were used to destroy the agenda of answers which attracted youths across the country. Yesufu wrote, What it doesn't get is that it is being set up. They will carry the same thugs they used to attack answers protesters and destroy towns, give them t-shirts with his picture and say they are his supporters. They will then be turning people against him. They did that with answers. So yeah, we actually have um, Aisha Yesufu, who is an activist and the um, co-convener of the Bring Back Our Girls movement, and she was also an active part of the Answers movement. And yeah, she's talking about how they're planning on setting up the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi. And this came after Peter Obi actually took to his Twitter account to um, apologize to his um to actually apologize to his supporters. And what he did was he told his supporters that they should um actually um he did actually apologize to his supporters per se, but then he was urging his supporters to stop being aggressive, lead, lead with love and all that. And this actually garnered a lot of reactions on and off social media as people are talking about how it seems to be too calm, doesn't really want any kind of violence or um, insults being thrown at other presidential candidates and all that. But then people have the um, opinion that as long as it's in Nigeria, everything has to be done with a form of aggression for people to actually get the message across. And he has come out several times, severally, to say, if you know you're a supporter of Peter Obi, if you know you're supporting me, if you know you're one of my followers, please don't go about insulting other presidential candidates. Don't go about insulting other people on this social media um applications don't go about um insulting other supporters of this pre other presidential candidate it um is all about love is doing its own part everybody has their own part to play and at the end of the day they will get to the polling booth get to the polling unit and whoever comes out victorious come 2023 actually gets to Asorok. so don't go about actually insulting people and this has actually made a lot of his supporters feel like he's trying to be too calm, trying to play it too safe, saying um, why should he be apologizing and different things, saying there's no need to actually apologize to other support, um, supporters of um, other presidential candidates. And we can see when the Twitter user said it bothers her when... Um, 
Peter, Apolo Peter will be apologizing, saying that what is he actually apologizing for? That he didn't force any of them to support him, or that or does he think he wouldn't win? That um, the little people won't won't vote for him because his supporters are tackling idiots online, and it's, she said um, aggression is the only language these people understand, so there is no need for apologizing and we had Aisha Yesufu actually saying that what it doesn't get is that he is being set up and that they will carry the same talks they used to attack the answers protesters and destroy towns giving them t-shirts with his picture and say that they are his supporters and then this will in turn turn people against him and we all know his politics is a dirty game. Um, different things are going to be done. And we've seen it time and time and time and time again. Like I've always said, the closer the campaign season is getting, the closer the election period is getting, we're going to be seeing dirtier and dirtier things coming out about this presidential candidate from the opposition parties as well as people that are not actually in favor of their um, presidential ambition. So... Um, Aisha Yesufu is saying that some of the people that Peter Obi actually think are his supporters that is actually trying to caution not to insult people are not really his supporters but these are people, these are thugs that are actually paid by opposition to act like his supporters um, to create problems, to create fracas and because they seem to be his supporters, he thinks they are his supporters but in actual fact, they aren't actually his supporters. And we all know what happened during the answers, um, protest and the answers period. How we saw thugs hijacking this protest. It was a peaceful protest and people came out just fighting for their right and trying to put a stop to police brutality. And we had, um, People coming out with cutlasses, beating people, raiding shops, looting shops and all that and saying they are doing this for the NSAS campaign. But then that wasn't it. These people were actually paid by different politicians to do this to make the old campaign and the old protest look bad when it actually wasn't. So this is the same energy. This is the same thing they actually want to do to the Peter OB campaign. And that is what Aisha Yusufu is saying, that very soon you will see thugs with shirt that are wearing shirts with Peter Obi's picture on it, actually creating problems in the communities, and then this will actually turn people against Peter Obi. So, um, I feel it's high time Peter Obi and his team come together, strategize on ways they can actually tackle this possible problem, and I hope they come up with a good solution as the election season is just at right the at just right at the corner at the corner and the campaign is about to start soon so that's it from us today guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe to our news channel so you get an update anytime a new post is made thank you and god bless